Hey, sweetie pookie dudes, Mama Sunfire, the Mixtress Maven here. Listen, um, <clears throat> I'm not even going to wait for any of you guys to come into this live uh, because I just really wanted to do this live just to get um, this video down. Uh, I'll be adding this to some of my class curriculum, and I just wanted to share some information with you guys here, and I wanted to do it here in the group. Well, um, <clears throat> first of all, I put in the uh, uh, What's that thing called? The uh, captions, <laughs> description um, about what, what I'll be sharing here. And I'm just simply going to talk about Hi John the Conqueror, um, the root, the history of it, uh, the association with the plant, uh, the association with a uh, spirit, as well as uh, the characteristics and how to uh, use it in oils and tinctures and things like that. So uh, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's not gonna take long. I just, again, wanted to get this information down on video. And so I just decided to do it here as as opposed to uh, making the video on my laptop. All right, first of all, um, let me just say to you guys, I don't know if you guys know the history of High John the Conqueror, uh, but there's some wonderful history you can always read it in a book. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, however, um, the fascinating and, and wonderful uh, thing about High John and his story is whether he actually was an African prince, whether he was associated being a king, whether he was a, just simply a slave, or whether that's just talk. It just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, um, negate the fact that high john is one of the master roots that are used in hoodoo it's one of the main roots that are uh, that's used and uh, so it is important for those of you who are practicing hoodoo to understand the nature and the and the characteristics of high john the conqueror well again as the story goes high john um, was an African prince and he was uh, captured and brought through uh, to the Americas through the transatlantic slave trade uh, as the story goes and um, what makes uh, High John a, a fascinating character uh, you can read some of the accounts of High John in Zora Neale Hurston's book uh, or her, her accounts in her books um, but what makes him very fascinating is his his tenacity, uh, as he was described, his ability, his cunning, and his ability to outdo uh, the uh, master or slave owners, and how he was able to instill strength and courage um, to the slaves that he was going to help uh, in it, their condition or situation, mostly to bring them to freedom or to bring them to a safe place. Um, and so, so many people talk about all of the various aspects of High John, but uh, essentially, whether, again, whether the story is true, whether it's folklore or uh, what have you, uh, High John as, as the root is used for us uh, in the way that uh, is to bring success or to bring um, a great uh, undertaking to to capture an undertaking and bring it into success okay so many times we use hi john for success in um in court cases sometimes we use it success in love and relationship uh on and on and on again mixing hi john or adding hot high john to certain formulations can increase the energy of it the successful rate of it so one of the things about high john um and just again it's just a lovely story even how uh frederick Douglass talks about his experience uh with using the high john root and how he was able to uh be successful in uh overtaking a slave master um High John root looks like, let me show you what it looks like. High John root comes in various sizes. So what I have, uh, this is the size. You'll notice that it's very wrinkly. Um, it comes, you know, in shapes. You can find it probably from this size, about the size of a walnut or larger than a pea. Uh, and, well, here's a small one. This is about the seed of a lemon, right? Um, 
or as big as an orange, as, as big as a lemon, you know, um, about as small as a seed of a lemon, as big as a lemon. You can find them in all different sizes. Um, Hi John uh, uh, Root has a very distinctive kind of peppery, uh, smoky smell to it. There are a lot of uh, fake ones going around, but you'll know them because they're very distinctive in the, uh, um, the, the wrinkles on it and the and the smell to it, okay? So if you so happen to get one and it doesn't have, you know, this kind of look to it. Now, the other thing, just be aware. Um, also, you notice here on both ends, and it's like that on the other ones as well. See there? Uh, oops, on the other end, right? Um, there, High John Root, uh, which is called the uh, Ipomia, uh, Ipomia um, Jalapa Aperga uh, plant, What's uh, fascinating about the root is that it is part of this uh, tuberous uh, root is part of a root system and you'll find these dangling off the hairs of various uh, roots. And so you may have two or three on one, uh, one root system or one hair, right? Um, th the other part is, is that high John, which is connected to, or is a type of, um, uh, morning glory um the high john character of the plant is what makes the association of high john whether he's spirit uh, 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 as in the form of a real person or whether it's folklore but the connection between the plant makes sense um the morning glory plant is a vine and it is a very invasive vine, which means that, baby, once your morning glory grows, honey, it's going to grow over everything. It doesn't care about what it chokes out, right? It's just going to overtake a fence. It's going to grow down into your sidewalk. You know, it's going to trellis over your trellis. It's just going to take over. And there are other viney types of plants that are used for this strength or for this uh, uh, energy of overtaking something or coming overcoming all odds and obstacles would be honeysuckle, passion flower, even wisteria. Um, and so high John, the morning glory uh, species uh, of plants has that um, energy of success. And so the cunning of high John is what we're looking for. Many people, uh, erroneously paint high john as this conquering king uh but if you're from the south honey high john is not a conquering king if anything high john is a sweet talking man right high john the plant ha uh, has itself ha is a uh, hermaphrodite uh so it has both male and female organs on the plant right so it brings balance you see it carries the energy of balance but it is however mostly male it is a most has mostly male energy but it can be used by women but it does have a very strong aggressive male kind of energy right and so uh, the stories in the south is a little bit different than the stories that some of the other people's uh, people attached to it and how they make high John look and he would be more so uh, of a smooth talker a very uh, a quick witted man you know quick uh, man on, can think on his feet really good a man who can charm people uh, but not so much a, 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 a man brandishing a sword coming in to deliver or save a people. He uses his wit, his, uh, his ability to know his uh, oppressor, the ability to know who is uh, his uh, enemy or his adversary. And once he has identified that character, then he can use his wit to overtake them. Right. And so this is what High John does. When you use High John in the sense of going to court, High John has the ability to uh, uh, smooth over or to enchant the situation or bend it towards your favor. So you take High John with you when you're going to court. You also can take High John when you're wanting to to bring some kind of, of energy or passion into your love relationship. You want to draw that into your relationship. And so when you do your workings for love, uh, you want to for passion. 
you want to be able to uh, uh, add a little high john, not a lot, but add a little high john uh, root for that. Now, one of the things again about high john uh, babies, I, I know y'all uh, don't. Uh, uh, some of you guys know, some of you don't know, but this is a small one, okay? Uh, but these things are hard as a rock. You can hardly break them. So if you get small ones, these may break better than the big ones. Um, but I have beat High John with a hammer. I have used a nutcracker, and I could barely get pieces off of it. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to break up pieces of High John. It may take you a minute to get you um, get you a few. Um, and so that kind of leads me into um, High John as it pertains to uh, making an oil or making it an infusion uh, or using it in some sort of way uh, like that. Now, um, when you take High John, it, it does have therapeutic properties. Uh, it has been used to clear and evacuate your bowels, right? So it is a uh, purgative. Um, that means it's going to... Uh, purge the system, purge the body. It's also a cathartic. Uh, and being a cathartic, it is used for um, uh, accelerating the uh, uh, defecation. Where, uh, so it, it accelerates the def uh, defecation process by kind of making the feces a little softer so that your body can push it on out. Uh, with that, it's also a, a laxative. And being a laxative, it can be a cathartic and a laxative at the same time. The laxative kind of uh, creates a little bit more water in your intestines, and so you, you know, you can push it out in that way. So it can be both cathartic and a laxative. Uh, it also is a, um, what is the other one? A um, carminative. Okay, I forgot. A carminative. A carminative is, um, uh, uh, it had, that means it has uh, the ability to deal with your digestion. It's going to help with bloating and gas. So if you think about cleansing yourself from your situation, right? So you can use High John um, for uh, um, helping to break habits and creating success in your, into your new move releasing you from an old mindset and bringing you into the new mindset, right? And bringing you into the newness of life where there is success on this side. So you can use, excuse me, you can use High John if you're thinking of it in that manner. And it's also going to work for your intestines. And you can make a, uh, uh, again, a, a tincture or uh, with it using alcohol, some sort of spirits, uh, preferably rum, maybe uh, some whiskey, um, I mean, you can use vodka too, and vodka probably would be the best to use to make the tincture. But rum and whiskey are also uh, one of High John, uh, one of the spirits used to um, summon or connect with the spirit of High John. Uh, again, High John is a little bit different from other herbs, right? Uh, herbs like nutmeg or herbs like peppermint and dill. It's a little different because it is connected to a persona or to a person. So this plant has this uh, energy of spirit of a person, this actual characteristic whereby nutmeg is not connected to, to a person named nutmeg. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, you can use it. Uh, the, the, the root can be used um, to make medicine with it, to clear, again, to clear the body of old toxins old thoughts, old processes. And so now let me just uh, go back as a cathartic. Uh, if you understand uh, a little bit of psychology or uh, dealing with the emotions, when someone goes into uh, catharsis, uh, it is them releasing their emotion, right? And the purpose of releasing their emotion in such a way, um, it, uh, in, in, in such a, a big way to help bring about positive, it's a positive thing. So bring about positive feelings, getting rid of like crying your eyeballs out. And once you cry your eyeballs out and uh, you get it all out, then you feel better, then you can think better. So that's kind of where that uh, um, energy of high John kind of brings you into this, again, newness of life, new way of thinking, new way of being and empowering you, uh, getting rid of old things and hindering things that hold you back and move you over into freedom. You see how that goes. And so, um, again, with high John and how it is used, 
uh, whether you're using it medicinally or you use it magically for your condition, right? So I named a few of those conditions like court cases, love, drawing money, things like that, gambling. Uh, one of the, the funny things about uh, Hi John, a lot of people have said, I've, I've, I've read several places, I've talked to people about it, family members about it, but one of the things, one of the characteristics about Hi John, it gives you this very hot energy. It's very, it's, it's a hot plant, right? Uh, it has this hot energy attached to it. And so um, being that it has this hot energy, it kind of gives you this, the energy of the sun, understanding the energy of the sun, with, which connects it to this male energy. And so women can carry it. You can just put it in a mojo bag or in your grigri bag, right? And carry it. Um, but I would suggest that women not carry it all the time. You know, I would suggest maybe if you're going to use it to draw money, uh, then you would put it in maybe some money working, put it on your altar or you do it like that and keep it in that manner. But if you need it as a woman, if you need it for a very, uh, uh, to be aggressive, say you're wanting to get a job and you need to make a gri bag or you want to anoint yourself with some high John oil for you to go in and uh, win uh, the favor of the interviewer or win the favor of in court. You, you understand how I'm saying you can use it then, but uh, um, I would caution women to, uh, um, for, uh, for using this very dominant uh, masculine energy all the time. Uh, if you're having problems with people at work and you want to overtake them and if you want to dominate them in a way that will uh, um, uh, influence them to lean toward your side, uh, that's the type of domination you can use High John for that. Uh, now, when you're working with High John, I usually tell people uh, who want to make High John oil um, that they there's a process that you go through to empower, imbue, charge um, your high John plant. Now, high John already knows what high John knows as it, as it pertains to the plant, right? It has the therapeutic properties already in it. It already has its constituents, uh, a high John itself. Once you, if you ingest it, it knows what to do. It's going to do what it needs to do. So you don't have to tell high John what to do per se, right? So what you want to do is actually make sure that the plant is connected to that spirit when you're doing the work, right? So what I generally do is create an altar space for and work with the altar space, uh, making an altar for Hi John and all of the offerings that you would give Hi John and put the herb on that uh, temporary altar or you know permanent altar if you want it to be, a temporary altar feeding it regularly for at least for seven days. I would also take the root, um, put it, you can put it in a jar like this if you want to, or whatever you have, I have different size jars. Here is a jar, and I don't mind this. This has some snake skin in it. Uh, this is a pint jar, depending on what you want to do. Um, but again, you can break up the high john if you can get it broken. Uh, if not, <laughs> you have to use it in this manner. Um, but you want to soak your high john at least for 24 hours in either some whiskey or some rum. Um, and then in doing so, what I generally do, y'all know I'm extra. So what I usually do is I soak it in the whiskey or rum and then I call high john. Um, and I, act, you know, and I tell her, John, you know, I want to use you. Thank you for, uh, um, connecting with me. Uh, I would like to use you for whatever it is I need to use you. And what I generally do, and I, and I know I get flack for this a lot of times because uh, I think some people don't understand. Uh, but what I usually do is take the high John turning to my right. So wherever I'm facing, I turn to the right. That would be my East. And that's the best way I can do East. I start in the East and I say, I, uh, um, I call Hi John and I thank him. I imbue him. I give them the offering. The it's uh, the herbs are already the uh, the root is already in the in the alcohol. So I'm giving this offering to Hi John and I'm asking Hi John to come and uh, be with me in 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 my in my um, spell work. What it is that I want to do for whatever reason that I'm calling him. So I call him starting at the east. Then I go counterclockwise. Uh, then go to the north. I call Hi John again. Hi John, uh, dear Hi John. You know, come 
and for this reason, right? And imbue um, this herb and empower it to do the work of whatever, right? Go to the to the left, which is the west, and then to the south, saying the same thing. I do it four times. I do that based on the con cos Congo Cosmogram, uh, connecting spirit and uh, uh, life, right? Uh, in, in nature and balance and in the crossroads. That's how I do it. Now, other people can do other things. Some people don't even do that at all, but this is just the gospel according to Mama Sunfire. So once I have done that, I allow the herb to sit in the alcohol for at least 24 hours or for the seven days, you know, for the whole week, if you want to do that. Um, and then after that, now listen, you let it sit in there for at least seven days. After that, I save the um alcohol so of course you have to clean it because it's dusty and dirty so i would wash it off take a toothbrush clean it off clean out all the areas and stuff make sure you get all the dirt and stuff off of it like that and then with the alcohol i'll save that alcohol and then for me that's a high john alcohol right all right so and i just put that to the side but then i let the high john uh, roots dry for 24 hours before i do anything with it right else with it before um i make it into an oil uh so once it has dried then the following day after it has, has dried then i make an oil with it and so you can take any carrier oil of your choice sometimes now if you think about it I, you, if you guys remember we talked about in the hoodoo class about which oils which carrier oils to use when you're making an anointing or dressing oil which one is the best to use and so if you think about what you're using your high john root you can choose then the carrier oil that's going to best suit your needs or your condition all right so Let's just say money, right? If people want to draw money, you can use olive oil. Um, if you know, understand the nature of olive oil, how is how it's made, the characteristics of it. And olive oil oftentimes is used for drawing money, right? And it's green. Um, so sometimes I use olive oil. Uh, but you can use, again, any other carrier oil, grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil. You can use a frac fractionated coconut oil, which is the liquid coconut oil. You can use that if you so choose. You can mix the oils, sunflower oil, um, and, and things of that nature, oils of that nature, even uh, other nut oils. You could do uh, macadamia nut oil, walnut oil. Uh, but again, for money, uh, you can use a, a blend of uh, olive oil and sunflower oil. Uh, I would use the sunflower oil uh, and olive oil mixture because sunflower brings in the sun, the uh, uh, energy of the sun, this masculine energy, right? This fire energy. So if you're wanting to bring money right off, like I need this money to come to me right now, pay me my money, run me my money, or you need this big financial blessing, I would mix those two oils together and create the high John oil. So what you will do in creating, excuse me, in creating the high John oil, again, you want to have your high John root, make sure it's dry. Uh, you need a sterilized, really a sanitized jar, glass jar. Okay. Now there are several methods to de do a decoction uh, of the root. Um, but you can use um, the oven, uh, which is, I would say, is easiest because you don't have to watch it as much. But uh, the oven can be used. A solar sitting in the sun can be used. Crock pot can be used. Um, on top of the stove can be used to decoct uh, the root. And uh, or, um, what a decoction is, is basically an infusion Right, you infuse the oils with the essence of the plant, but when you decoct something, you're using a hard, a hard uh, item like a root, hard like the uh, root of the uh, high john, or hard like seeds or bark. Certain barks can be very hard, so you use those because um, it takes a lot more to break open the cellular wall to extract the uh, plant information or the plant spirits from you know the plant spirits. Uh, so what I generally do, again, take a sterilized jar. I'll use a mason jar, 
like this. You can do double boiler method if you want to, um, which means you would take this jar, put it in water uh, in a in a pot, and put uh, excuse me, take a pot, put water in it, put your jar inside the pot like a double boiler. Right. I often put a if it's too small, I'll put a, uh, for the pot, I'll put a brick or something in there in the pot and set this on top of it. Um, if it's the right size, sometimes I'll put a, a washcloth or some sort of cloth on the bottom of the pot where the water and fill it with water and then set this on top. So this won't be sit sitting directly on the pot. Um, but you have to watch it. The double boiler method, you'd have to watch it just like you would have to watch the stove top uh, method. Um, but again, what I do is now once I've gotten everything done, I actually I'm going to use the oven method. And in using the oven method, you'll need your sanitized container uh, and dry. So you're going to wash with soapy water and dry this container. Now I'm fancy. Uh, I'm special and I'm extra, so I actually imbue this with the energy as well uh, with High John. I dedicate it to that particular service. So once I, once I wash it, I put it in the oven. Uh, the oven should be between 120 to 200 uh, degrees. It depends on how your oven, uh, the number, uh, the numbers fall. Some people can get their oven as low as 120 degrees. Some people 140 is the lowest that they go, but it should not exceed more than 200 degrees. If you put your oven on 200 degrees, I would suggest that you uh, prop the oven open slightly with something small. If it wasn't, if it won't stay uh, open, um, take something that the door can rest against to leave it cracked open so that your jar won't break or get overly hot and you don't want to scorch your oil too. Uh, but this is hot, it will get hot, and so you'll need mitts to take it out. Uh, so again, I would, uh, I take the glass jar, I, I put the high John root in, I cover the root with my oil. Now I try to use about an ounce of um, high John, uh, broken in pieces, if you can get it, uh, get it broken in pieces. Um, so about an ounce of high john, and then you want to cover that high john root with um, your carrier oil of choice. I would prefer, I, I think you should at least a cup of oil, a carrier oil. Uh, so you got your container with a cup of carrier oil in there and your high john. You place that into your oven. I usually put it on a, a, a oven safe dish in the event that something happens and I want my oil that my jar doesn't break and waste all the oil into my stove, I put it on a cookie sheet or some ceramic, some ceramic uh, dish. Usually, if I'm doing a ceramic dish, I'll put a little water in it uh, anyway, just because I'm I just I just do it that way. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, so you place the jar with the high john. Into, uh, and the oil, you place that in the oven and it needs to be in the oven for four to, to eight hours. Okay, so you can put it in during the day, early in the morning, and then by the evening, uh, afternoon, uh, afternoon, you should be able, your high john oil should be ready. Okay, so now after you do that and you remove your jar from the oven, you can decant, you can strain it at that time uh, once it cools. And then uh, take the high john root out, and then you want to keep your oil in a dark place, in a cool, dark place. Uh, sometimes I just use a regular jar like this. If you have a dark jar, like an amber or blue bottle, you can do that. I use these, uh, but I actually place them in a brown paper bag and put a rubber band or tie a string around it where you can't, it, uh, no sunlight can get into it, and I place it on, on my shelf when I have my oils, when my oils are. Um, when I was actually when there was a lot of sunlight coming in the uh, house lights are not bad so you do see uh, herbs up there uh, my uh, house lights aren't bad but I keep them out of direct sunlight uh, what did we set the oven on again I'm sorry I missed oh okay <laughs> the oven was set on uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit 
Um, if your oven uh, um, does not have that very low setting, some ovens don't. My daughter's oven, that it starts at 200. So if it's on 200 degrees, you can then prop your oven open uh, with something small just to hold so that the heat can release and then still let it sit uh, in the oven um, from four to four to eight hours. OK, um, but you take that or once that oil um, is ready, you can decant and strain. Now, once you've made your high John oil, you can choose at that time to reserve a little bit of that oil to use to mix with other things, right? So you have a high John oil that you're going to use strictly for high John. Then you have a high, a high John oil that you can mix with a love oil. Or you can take a little bit and put in your money drawing uh, oil. You see what I'm saying? So you need um, just to reserve, um, excuse me, reserve some for, strictly for high John. And then the other you can mix with uh, other oils. Um, so it's really easy to, again, to work with high, high John uh, oils. High John, the spirit, sometimes it takes a bit. I have uh, friends who actually have spirit pot for high John. And she has all kinds of things in her spirit pot. Um, but overall, uh, the energy and the essence and the spirit of High John um, is connected to ve being very cunning and very wise. Not this um, this king sitting on a horse with a crown on his head, riding into uh, uh, to to brandishing his sword, trying to cut down people. That's not what High John is used for. That's the Eurocentric version of High John, and that does not work with the Southern understanding of the uh, of who High John is. High John, in and of himself, the energy and spirit of High John is is really this very wise, uh, cunning, smart, smooth talking kind of brother. You understand this kind of brother who sits back and watch how things are going, don't say anything until it's time. A man of few words, but a man of powerful words, right? Uh, so um, High John is used in that way, very influential. Um, one who doesn't take uh, uh, shit from anyone. Do you understand what I'm saying? But knows uh, when to hold them and 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 when to to uh, what's that? I, I, what's that song? You know when to hold them, when to fold them, you know. So he, High John is wise. The, the energy of High John is wise, not just cunning, but wise, strategic, right? So um, so keep that in mind when you're working with High John, uh, that you want to work with that energy. But again, women can work with High John, the conqueror route. Um, but people you have to realize that while you can work with high john as a woman it does connect you as i said before to a very masculine energy so i you know as a woman i i, I make a high john mojo bags gree gree bags and you know wanga and hands and all that kind of stuff um but i put a very small piece uh, of high john in the mojo bag if i'm making it for a woman um for most people take high John root. Most men have high John root in their pockets or in their wallets, you know, and they take the root and just rub on the root. Uh, again, as I said or earlier, just, just to go over it real quickly, for those of you who just came into the room, high John, this is what the high John root looks like. Uh, it varies in shape, but it is the same um, character. And you can see how wrinkly um, it is. Um, here's another one again, and you see the wrinkles on it. Uh, these are definitely, uh, there are definitely, uh, imitations and fakes going around. Uh, you can smell the powdery musky, uh, smell, of uh, musty smell, not must like funky must, but it has a very smoky smell to it and that's more so because of the pro drying process as opposed to that's what you know that's not really what it smells like but in the processing of this this is how it turns out to smell um and lastly again in summary high john is a uh, the plant itself is a cathartic it's a, la a laxative it's a purgative it's a um is a carminative. That means it's going to clear out your intestines and clean your uh, system. 
Uh, and with that being said, you can make teas and tonics and things like that. Where is the best place to get it from? Uh, well, you know, you can get them online. Um, there's, um, one, uh, person on Etsy. Who was the name of that company? I mean, I can't think of the name of the company right now. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hold on. Let me check. Um, I want to say not T. Um, hi, John. On Etsy. So they. It is called. Boom, went right to it. Tame, tame the spirit on Etsy. Tame the spirit on Etsy. Uh, they have some really good ones. You can check your botanica, your local botanica. They may have Hi John the Conqueror Root. Um, and so again, if you're going to purchase it from someone, uh, and you want to use it medicinally, you need to find out if it is uh, while harvested. Um, you need to find out if not, if it's organic. If it's neither one of those or the per, uh, or the place that you're buying it from does not know, do not use it medicinally. Um, if you're going to just use it magically, of course, it's not important. Um, lastly, uh, the alcohol that was reserved from when you uh, made the offering to Hi John before you get started with your work. Take that offering uh, and use it to feed your mojo bag with and use it to feed um, your other um, workings with, um, especially if you don't know if it is an uh, organic Hi John or not. You can use it to feed um, um, your other workings. Um, so, if you have any questions, feel free to get in contact with me. You guys know where to find me. Um, and if you want to know a little bit more about Hi John, uh, the things that I haven't covered here, then I'll be glad to talk to you. Just holler at me or just make a post here in the group. And uh, I, when I see it, I'll, I'll comment. You know, my son has my phone most of the My grandson has my phone most of the time, so... I don't see things until later. All right. Well, peace and blessings. Thank you all for being here. Uh, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.